In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the coincident tool works. It's one of our geometric constraints that we have in our constraint panel up at the top. And this is really a helpful tool that a lot of people ignore um, simply because they don't know how to use it. So right now what I've got is a line that's locked in place. This line is fully constrained. I've given it, uh, I've snapped onto my origin first off, and I've also given it a length of 1.5. So this line cannot move. It's locked in place. Now, this circle, however, can move anywhere that I want it to. Um, I could, I, I, it just can move freely in space. I haven't even given it a size dimension. Um, if I wanted to, I could add that, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how the coincident tool can be used. Two different ways here. I would simply choose the coincident and then choose the center point of the circle. And now I can choose one of the endpoints of the line. That is one way that we can use the tool. Now notice the circle can still change in, in size or diameter, but the center point is always going to be locked in place. Let me undo that now. Another thing that I could do is choose the coincident tool and the center point of the circle and then tell the computer that there's a rule that the center of the circle needs to lie somewhere on this line. And if I hit escape to end the command, you can see that I can move the circle back and forth on the line. I can even move it off of the line segment, but it still lies somewhere on this particular line. I can no longer move it up or down. So those are a couple of ways the coincident tool can be used. Um, another neat way, let me get rid of the circle here. Another neat way that it can be used is if you had some other geometry. Let's say we have this shape right here and I wanted to use this and create the rest of the rectangle. What I could do is click on my coincident tool and simply pick the end point of my line and click my origin and then click the end point of this line and click the other the opposite end of my 1.5 length line and you can see how that has now joined this object completely. Now I could simply add a dimension to this other side and that would complete the shape. Now notice it's also fully constrained these are just a few ways that the coincident tool can be used uh, to help you in your drawings.